So you want to get started on YouTube, but you're a procrastinator. Well, I'm going to give you three tips to help you get started right now. What's up, y'all? My name is LA, and I am all about locks, creativity, and wellness. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three tips that I use to help me get started back on YouTube today. Yep, we're saying today. So listen, I completely understand where you're coming from. I am a procrastinator, or actually, let me take that back. I'm overcoming procrastination, okay? Because I don't want to claim that anymore for my life because it's affected every area of my life. It's, it's affected my job. It's affected um, the things that I like to do, like music and creating. It's affected even my, my fitness and wellness journey and my mental health. So I don't want to claim that anymore, and I don't think you should either, right? But I'm going to share three things that help me turn this camera on and get started. So first things first, get up off the couch and quit with this researching. Okay. I understand. I understand. I understand that you need to research. Yes. I have watched videos from Gary V. I've watched videos from Think Media. I've watched a lot of videos to help me prep me to get ready to get to this point but what I realized is I was actually using it as a crutch because I was a little bit scared of coming back onto YouTube again now I started my YouTube channel a few years ago and I did the whole how to get to know me tag and and you know I've posted videos here and there and I've deleted some I don't know if that was a good thing or not but I was really discouraged you know, because I felt like I know all the right things to do. I have it all up here. I've watched enough videos, but for some reason, I'm not taking action. And I was afraid. I just was afraid of starting back. I, I felt like I also didn't have a lot of direction. So I decided to watch videos, right? But again, you can get caught up in the cycle of just constantly. Okay, okay, horn. You can get caught up in the cycle of constant, constantly researching and staying in that zone. And then the more you research, the more informa information you get is the more you can overload yourself with too much information and end up crippling yourself and not starting. So I would say, stop, stop it. You've watched enough videos. If you haven't, I would say like watch like one or two or three. You know, I'm just saying like watch it. But if you watch like 50 Come on, hello, stop, stop, no, okay? That's, that's one. Number two, start with what you have. Now, I am in a pretty interesting position because I do help with creating content for two other clients that I have, um, and I follow them around all day with a camera. I can, I video a lot of their stuff and I go back in and I, and I chop these videos up for reels, for shorts, for TikToks. And I do all that for them, but for some reason I'm not doing it for me. So I have a iPhone, um, um, the Pro 14 Pro that I just updated from my 11 Pro Max. Um, and I also invested recently into this camera that I'm using here. It's a Canon Mark two um that you know i decided to go ahead and use and um so i'm in a pretty good position as far as equipment but even when i had this equipment i still didn't get started right away so don't think that just because you go out and you buy this elaborate equipment that you're going to get started if you're a procrastinator you're probably not you're going to find another excuse to not start let's let's just be honest okay so start with what you have. If you have an iPhone, if you have a Samsung and it has a great camera, use it. Get in some natural light. If you don't have natural light, get a, a, a lighting equipment, a very inexpensive one to start. I can plug some um, equipment down below to show you what I have or what I have used in the past that works. Um, and get started. If you don't have a tripod, guess what? You got a table and books. You can put them books up, lean that phone up, and get started. Get started with some reels. Get started with some YouTube shorts. Um, just, just 
Just start with what you have. You will learn on the way. You will make adjustments on the way. But I don't want you to cripple yourself because you're like, I need to research. And then when you stop researching, then you're like, I need the right equipment. I need to get the, the most fancy lights. And I need to get the most fanciest camera. No, you don't. No, you don't. You need to get started. There are people that are in the same position as you. I was there and until literally this video. And I decided to get started, right? Number three, the first topic, mm, what are we talking about? So how did I get to the point where I was going to post this video is because I thought about what was preventing me from starting YouTube again. And it, it like, it came up as a light bulb. It was like how to get started on YouTube as a procrastinator how to get started on YouTube again, how to restart your channel as a procrastinator. Because guess what? Oh, now that's me. And I can talk about that because I experience it. I am experiencing it. I'm currently overcoming procrastination. So that topic is what helped me get up. So what you need to do is you need to sit down and think, okay, what is the thing that I'm always thinking about, always doing that, that you don't even pay attention to? And then maybe start with that. If you if you like um, cooking, right? And there's a meal that everybody's like, oh my God, I love when you cook this meal. That's so good. You're going to say how to cook the, the, the for beginners. How to cook as a beginner. <laughs> like utensils you should use as a beginner you know there's three three ideas right there for a cook you know whatever it is that you like doing or what you're already naturally doing or you find that you struggle with that you think you have some say on that you can help somebody else with start with that start with the one guys i am starting with this one video again okay i want to start my journey and i decided i'm going to Turn on the camera and I'm going to start with this video. And I hope that those three tips were helpful for you. So what were the three tips? Number one, get up off the couch and start, stop researching. It's, it's, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Number two, start with what you have. Start with what you have. And number three, find one topic that comes natural to you, that's easy to you, that you are struggling with, that you can help someone with, it, someone with and start with that. And then go from there, build from there. We need to stop overthinking and worrying. And I know that's easier said than done, but really that's what it is. I remember watching a video from Mel Robbins, I believe that's her name. And she was talking about um, how our brain works, you know, with procrastinating. And she says, you know, like if you want to do something, if you say you want to get up and wash the dishes or you want to go and work out, big cliche thing, but that's what a lot of people want to do, right? And you decide that you're going to do it. You have five seconds from when you thought about doing it. You have five seconds to get up and start doing it. Because what's going to happen is after those five seconds are up, you're going to now start creating excuses. Your brain is going to start coming with these excuses back to back to back to back to back. And then you're going to find yourself doing what? <gasps> Procrastinating. Yep. And we don't want to do that. Okay. So I said I'm going to do this video how to start a YouTube channel as a procrastinator. And I turned on the camera. I threw on a sweater. I put this in, put my locks in a, in a last of a cute little hairstyle. And, and I think, I think it's cute, you know, put on some earrings and I just, I just turned on the camera guys. I didn't worry about my makeup. I, I have on lashes, but this is my natural face. This is me in some natural light. And I just want to encourage you. Like if I'm doing this, you can do it, okay? So get started, you can do it, stop procrastinating, and just get to creating. See you at the next video. I hope that was good. I keep looking over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking inside. And I hope my hair wasn't looking crazy in this video. Cause I see my monitor over there. I hope, I hope, I hope I was right. Anyway.